We just pulled off our first shake and bake. I seriously think that's the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo! Maybe Flo! <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Alan Taylor will win. She's riding an amazing horse out of Baby Flo. One of her babies for Baby Flo. For Lo to the Flo. Flo, Flo. Hush, buddy. Hush, buddy. Hey, what's up, Flomies? I'm so excited. We are actively on the rodeo road, so we're back in action, making stuff happen. I'm super, super excited. Today's guest is somebody that you probably already follow on TikTok. If you don't, she's phenomenal, uplifting chick. She's PG-13 with the language, but you know, aren't we all? Um, she is an incredible horse person. Before that, we are gonna go to a rodeo. So we got invited to go to the stockyards for an invitational rodeo where Cody and I will compete against six other competitors to see who wins. The in that is another NFR qualifier and some really, really amazing riders. We're gonna go give it our best shot. We have been really, really going hard in the paint. Cody and I both have been doing 75 hard along with Alex and sticking to our diets and like really working on our cardio in addition to having our horses do a whole lot of cardio as well. So we've completely changed up our, pro our program and we're just hoping it pays off because we really want to see some stuff from all the hard work that we've been doing. Let's go to Fort Worth and check out the historic stockyards. We just pulled off our first shake and bake. Woo! I shook and she booked or something. I shaked, she baked. Also, Lolo has won first at one other place. Um, and a lot of jackpots, a lot of 1Ds, a lot of arena records, but not a lot of rodeo first. <sighs> yeah, whole lot of seconds. Heavily requested. <laughs> this is Michelle Cerna. I call her a broke ass horse girl because that's, that's what, what who everybody she is calls. On that's what I am. For her content, it's not for the little tinies. It is for the grown, <laughs> grown adult people. Grown women and men. This is the collab you guys all asked for. No, it wouldn't fit on TikTok. Yes, it will fit. Little pieces will fit on TikTok, but like not the whole yeah. shebang. Tell people who you are. I am just a woman, a broke girl who got fired from her tech job. So she was like, I'm gonna lean into being a barrel racer and talking about horses online. And that's just what I've been the doing. Getting fired on <laughs> from her tech job was the funniest thing because she's like <laughs> just filming a TikTok, but also happens to be simultaneously in the middle of an online live meeting. So I got fired. 
<laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle, I'm 24, and in August, I got fired from my six-figure tech job because I posted a TikTok video on the internet about how I forgot to put a cup underneath my Keurig, and so my coffee spilled all over my counter. But at the same time, I was actually sitting in a meeting at 4.30 in the morning, and I didn't realize when I uploaded the video to TikTok that in the background of my video, you could actually hear my work meeting going on. And I didn't find that out, actually, until 24 hours later when I got called into a meeting with HR, and they fired me for gross negligence and I got canned and I was like what am I gonna do now I'm gonna be a barrel racer I love it so and that's the commitment so that I've made <laughs> I messaged her somewhere so along I, the, <laughs> I messaged her somewhere along the way and realized that she had messaged me in like when 2014 so like a long time ago and she messaged me like hey how old were you then oh my god I think I was like 14 or 15 and yeah. she was like hey I'm a really big fan and one day I'm going to be like you and all these things. And I reached out to her and I was like, I saw this message and I follow you on TikTok, and it would be cool just to like be a support. You were a support to me when I needed it the most. It'd be cool to support you. So I've just been like low key, her trainer from afar. It's like, literally helped so much. Yeah. The, the, the massive improvements in like three weeks time I'm really excited. have been so crazy. Like, I'm like, wait a minute. I can run. I was like, I see you. I see me and you. I'm trying. I can see you getting mad. <laughs> Let's go back and get us a plan. Yep. Um, so anyway, today we're going to do some really cool stuff. We message back and forth all the time. I know her top two favorite horses that she likes, that she kind of sees herself envisioning riding, and I'm going to let you pick. There is Chuck Norris, and there is Jerry. Uh, they are very different. Very different. If you wanted to pick one that would make you feel good, look good, do good, that's Jerry. If you want to feel like... What does it feel like to fly a Learjet and not quite know where the brakes are? Chuck's your man. One is a foot taller than the other. Okay. One's a foot wider than the other. It's up to you. You take your So pick. in my brain, yes. one day, I will buy Jerry. Love that. <laughs> so I want to ride Jerry. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. We're going to ride Jerry. Now, Jerry is a known cribber, does his own thing. He's Ma If Matthew McConaughey were a horse, this is him in Days and Confused. Like, this is who yep. he is. He's super chill. He matches the California vibe. She's from California, did I yeah. say that? Anyway. I think he matches go the Jerry. vibe. We'd get along. Okay. We're going to greet him. Yes. <laughs> this pasture, Smoke Show Nick Knack Neffy, Slickerita. This pasture is Chuck Norris, Flow Money, GLC. Six donkeys throughout because coyotes are a real thing here. Mm -hmm. Um... Then you met those horses in there. So there's like eight there. And then the other ranch, there are all the weanlings, yearlings, brood mares, all that good jazz. It's a big feed bill. I've been, I've been narrowing it down. Me though. and my five, I'm like, <laughs> Kevin. It's a lot. We're gonna have to sell something. But if I, if I could get, squeeze it down, like the breeding program, I'm gonna, I made a spreadsheet and like kind of figured out what are my cost of goods and like, how can I, effectively get some really cool horses into people's hands without yeah. having to like compromise and like have zero margin yeah so i don't think people understand how much it takes that's crazy because i actually i already uh i built some software for tracking expenses i know and as it's it called, turns and it's, it's called, called bridal, bridal. <laughs> get bridal.com yes he reminds me of your mare in a lot of ways where like your mare gives me vibes of like she's gonna try hard, but you have to ask her for it because she's yeah, little, she's not really gonna give she's it. She's not gonna give it. But your mare is different. He's got a lot of confidence. Your mare doesn't have that confidence yet. Mm -mm. Um, but we're gonna get her there through like you're just gonna haul to the ends of the earth until she gets it. Pretty much. We're 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 in, we're committed. Yeah, I'm stoked because my dad's formula is ten runs before you can change something and or throw them away. Um, I don't know what kind of saddle that you like to ride. Okay, actually I was going to talk to you about yeah. this because traditionally I have been more of a flat seater. Okay. This Palomino, that's not gonna work. Right. Two saddles I would throw you in is this, so this is a traditional leather saddle and I really, really, really like it, but it's, it's deep, but not so deep that you're going to be like, oh, I don't know. But then I also really love this one. And while I don't think it's the prettiest tree that I have, it is kind of the a wildly effective saddle. I this like would effective. Be my first choice. I'm an so, effective individual. So. Um, grab the pad of your choice and we'll throw this up. Oh, there. here we go. Oh, La La's rain. Purple. Okay, here we go. And treat him like he's yours. 
crawl around wherever you want. I'm gonna get this mane for you. Jerry, come to my house. Jerry. Jerry's like, I ain't going to California. <laughs> Move here. He's like, whatever, man. <laughs> Jerry, whatever. we can ride down the beach, me and you. Yeah. It's like, whatever. That photo shoot would be awesome. For liability purposes, there's a light hanging down down there, so maybe don't ride under that. <laughs> We have to rent a scissor lift to do the whole deal. I got taken out by a light at Mega Ranch. Yeah, that's the clickbait. We would use that for clickbait. <laughs> I was like, thought you were about to tell me about a real experience. I'm like, oh God. No, no, no it trauma. It can't happen twice. No trauma in relation to lights. Okay. Don't put that, or do, I yeah. don't care. Remember when I said I don't get on from the ground? I know, I know. Hey, it's I okay. Was, and I, I, no! I was there she is. serious. Wait, you need those stirrups to go way up? Yes. Yeah, here, I got you. So my big thing for you today would be, like, I want to own a Lamborghini. I could own, but I have a horse addiction. But <laughs> scratch that. But if I, I would go rent that car. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I would envision myself in it. I'd want to grip the steering wheel. Like, what does this feel like? I want that, like, surreal moment for you today. That's what, like, I would wish for myself if I were doing this. So I want you to feel how this would feel because Dr. Nick Barr taught me so much because he's was so trained when I got him and that feel has allowed me to train and train and train and train. Yeah. So I want you to feel what it's going to feel like when your mare is more finished Yeah. because that feel you can take it home. Like you'll be like, Oh, that doesn't feel sharp right there. Like it's supposed to. Right. So trot around, lope some small circles up in that corner. Like, just treat him like he's yours, okay. but like test drive the Lambo. How you know much do you walk your horses and stuff like that? Um, I, like if I'm coming in here, I like to make this like a really compact short thing. Yeah. Um, so I don't do just a ton, a ton, a ton of warm up. Trot, you know, two, three circles, okay. slope, two, three circles, go the other way. Um, and then let them be done because I bred them so hot that in order to keep them this chill, right. I got to like short spurts. And then when we're not in the arena, we can go forever, but. Okay. Just do you. And there's no, like, I don't care how you get his nose or don't get his nose or where you put your legs. Like, this isn't a Judge Michelle session. This is a Michelle test drives a Lambo. This is so I can manifest. Yes. Jerry means business. Jerry does not play around. Jerry says, hold on, yeah. broke ass horse girl. <laughs> Even trotting him, like, this is a horse. So he feels like he's got a purpose, right? Yeah. And that's what those short, short sessions are gonna do for your mare. If you keep like trying to get it perfect in practice, you'll take all of this out of them. Now let's pretend like there's no camera here so we can just have fun, cause that's what we're here for anyway. I'm always ready to have fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. Okay, he's never been this spicy before. So okay. I'm assuming that your body, which is great, by the way, this is a big compliment. I'm assuming that you got the tingles in your butthole that are like, let's Probably. get it on. And so I love that because we can do a lot of really cool things with that where um, your mare doesn't have the confidence to feel this out of you right now. Yeah. And so you may be feeling like you're hitting a little bit of a wall with her speed, like where she needs to free up. Yeah. You're going to be able to reap the benefits of that on him today, which is great. I want you to just trot through. And the big thing is... I call it train tracks. So I never want to defer from where I'm going. Right. Um, I keep my lefties kind of out here and I aim for the front feet. And I'm just making you an outline so you can follow it with your eyeballs. I aim for the front feet to get about right here. Uh huh. And then there's a hole on the top of these barrels. I just have my hand slid down, but I don't touch them. And I just sit down about right here and okay. just look at the top of this barrel and let your body kind of do everything for you. But okay. this horse should do the majority of the work. He should do 99%. If you feel something, by all means do it. And then I stay in the turn a little bit longer. Okay. So I forget that you want to know all of this too, because like you're training one, so I can go in depth. When you get here, a lot of people want to look up right. and it throws your shoulder out right. and then your horse will step, step, step. Right. When you're training one, you want to keep your head down. It's why you see like, especially Texas fraternity trainers like flop over and it looks like style point. Right. They're trying to stay in the turn so that they can get their horse to over finish almost a little bit. And that'll flop you into a lead change right here instead of over there. So on your mare, when you're trotting through the pattern, trot to here, outside rein, outside leg, keep pushing her just a touch. Yeah. 
and then take off and elope here so you can start getting that lead change so she'll be back, scoot back, her butt back. over over here i give my younger horses a little bit more room but the aim is like here-ish front feet here okay and same thing i just look at the barrel my arm is in a soft l and i try to stay 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 then push forward and the same thing at the third stay pretty tight going up into it and just put his feet wherever you commit to put his feet it doesn't matter he should go up there and work that barrel right um but just kind of gauge it feel it out when you get next to the barrel then grab your saddle horn and sit down but let's go through at a trot a few times because riding behind somebody is like terrifying and difficult mm -hmm. so let's just make sure that you know where all the buttons are um i don't let me get, make you a little bit tighter here I don't um, over bend and like do a whole lot of things when they're as finished as this horse is. Right. He's five, so I'm talking about him like he's 20, but I don't like pick up and move way out and over exaggerate things at this point when they're finished. I want to enjoy. Let him go to work. I want to enjoy. So just trot through and put him wherever you feel like you want to put him and see how it feels. I feel like that's a little like what my gray horse. Right. Teaches me, which funny enough, that gray horse is from her. That's, but we were just talking about that. She like, she is the kind of been like, she was like my introduction to let's ride like a big girl. Right. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. And like, she's like, even recently, like this last weekend I went to the jackpot, I was like, literally just haul ass. Yeah. And just. And she made the prettiest run too. And that she, run was so pretty. She'll make the same run every single time. And I just like convince myself before, ever, I'm always like, you're going to mess it up. Yeah. Like. Yeah. And it's getting out of that headspace. It's getting out of the, like, don't consider yourself an amateur. Right. Consider yourself to be a professional. Well, yeah, you should always consider yourself a professional in training. And then, like, and then ride accordingly. Jerry. Just put him there and look at your barrel. Good job. Jerry, she said trot. <laughs> good job. Really good job. Good work. Good work. Jerry is fast. Yes. The one thing I want you to do is when you drop to your saddle horn, start squeezing the outside leg okay. so that you can, did you feel him go like right. that? Yeah. Um, when you, I want her to get that feel. They want to do it by themselves. You see how mad this horse is about like, hey, I thought I was going to go a different speed and now I thought we were loping circles and I'm a little fresh. I give him a long leash. And when I said that I saw a lot of me and you, it's because I can see like the perfection part of like, I want this practice to go so well. Now I've learned that the where I can win is giving them the longest leash in the world of like, that wasn't perfect. We're going to do it again tomorrow. We're going to do it again tomorrow right. just, and just quit. So I want you to lope through and I want you, whatever you do, don't smooch. <laughs> but I want you, I want you That's to That's not the plan. Don't smooch, Parker. <laughs> don't smooch. But I want you to lope through and get the feel. Okay. But on your mare, when you're at home, I want you to start trotting up to here. Give her a little bit of room, trot, trot, trot to the halfway mark. Okay. I want you to pick up the outside rein, outside leg, and I want you to smooch through and pick up just a touch. Same thing, every barrel. Then I want you to go back, because you're kicking on her and she's going nowhere. Yeah. The, and I know you're going to get her a little bit more fit too, but I know she's got like, that's going to be incremental. When you lope up here on her, I want you to sit down and I want you to wait. I want you to grab your saddle horn, not grab the outside rein. I want you to close this leg. And I want that smooch to be like such a powerful thing that you never, never, never smooch around her until, so when you're here and you smooch, it means like, and they like that. They want to know there's a place for them to while out. So it's like, it's, yeah, it's just being like very consistent. Yeah. Consistent in your horses. Don't be so critical of yourself. You ride beautifully, by the way. Thank you. You'll that means a lot. Really well. um, if you ever get in a pickle, go faster. <laughs> if you feel yourself hung in a pickle and you're like, everything feels not good, go faster. So just lope through. If you're in a pickle, 
just go faster. <laughs> Great, perfect. <laughs> I normally just kind of come to this wall, walk, trot, don't ask him to run. Just I, I don't plan on it. <laughs> I don't plan on it. <laughs> Just a walkie trotty, cute little. While I'm preparing my finances to buy Jerry, I also <laughs> will need to be preparing my body. <laughs> Same Z's. <laughs> and you don't need to shape or worry. Just look where his feet need to go and put his body in a good spot. All the other thinking he should do. That's beautiful. Just sit down. Don't don't pull. Yeah, beautiful, Michelle. That's beautiful. Yeah. You. Beautiful work. Beautiful, beautiful work. I seriously think that's the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> that makes me so happy. He's that was so fun. <laughs> so I don't know how your mare feels, but I want you to think about that all the time and just be like, I want it to feel like that. And don't stop until it feels like that. It is so insane riding a horse like this when like, I grew up on a Welsh quarter horse that I bought, my dad bought on the side of the road for $1,200. Is this the one you still have? That 34 year old, $1,200 on the side of the road. And then my next barrel horse was $1,500, the one that I sent you yeah. and dumped me for like six months straight. And now my Palomino is also like, we picked her up for like nothing. Yeah. So to like get on a horse like this is like, it's Sweet. just so like insane. Yeah, I'm it's so, so cool too to like think that you would never, you would never get that. You know, you know right. what I mean? Like right. there's so much hard work that has to go into it. Yeah, it's really cool. And for someone to recognize that is really amazing. Like just see somebody on and go, that was the most fun I ever had. Like that's because there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears that goes into that. So I'm very excited. I appreciate your yeah. blood, sweat and tears for, for my little like 20 seconds of like insane fun that I just had. I'm super excited. Well, that was loping, so we're going to walk him down and go a little faster. You're going to have even more fun. Jerry, but, me and you, man. <laughs> me and Jerry. I love how you stopped him, too, and, like, let him slow down right here so he could get, get a hold of himself. That was super California of you and super great. I like a, I like a nice, solid shutdown. Super, <laughs> super cool of you to do that. But in the saddle. Jerry appreciates it, too. See, we're already getting along. And it, the reason that, like, I've never listed him for sale or whatever, one, he's never lo not won a check, ever, in the history of ever. You leave a barrel and you feel like accelerating. Okay. Say so with your lips, but you don't have to kick on him. Okay. You should run hard. I won't be kicking. But you don't. I won't be kicking. Feel free to. He's not going to do anything wrong if you do. You just don't have to. Yeah, this is like, this is the craziest thing I've ever done. <laughs> And all I had to do was get fired from my job. All you had to do was get fired, bro. <laughs> I've and then never the world made of opportunity opened up. I've never made less money and had more opportunity. And that's that is the world's. That's, that's the where lesson. greatness is bred. That's no the money, lesson. But opportunity. That's all I need. That's the lesson. Just send it. Jerry! 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 That was beautiful. I love him. That was beautiful. And that, Thank you. That's, that's who he is, man. Oh. Hey, you rode beautifully. Thank you. And look at him. He's just I like... Oh man. You did my horse right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so proud of you. That, that was, was so beautiful. fun. Now I'm going to be like hunting for that feeling. I know. That's the, that was my goal for you is that you would be hunting for that feeling. Kind of this whole TikTok series that I'm doing of like becoming a better barrel racer. Like the main purpose I have in sharing it is like ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Right. If as long as you can wake up and want it. Right. Yeah. Like that's literally because that's why people are bored. That's people all are you bored can do. Or they ask us like, like, um, how are you say so disciplined or how are you so motivated or how are you you're not. You're not. You just you do. You just want something bigger that like literally wakes you up in the morning. 
Oh, I'm like, why not reason, dream the big? Essential, the whole reason we did the essential line or the whole reason that I'm trying harder on the juvenile cults and like, hey, I'm going to really give it a try or like any kind of big goal. Like you're just like your avatar. If I, if I were a computer game is bored of you doing the same old and want, is telling you, hey, I need something more. I need to be better. And, you know, frankly, like not to be completely hippy dippy, but that's why you were fired. You probably were at the border board. Literally. And like, it was so crazy too, because I got fired and I cried for about two seconds. And then I'm sitting there and Kevin's like looking at me and I go, Kevin, I hate that I'm about to say this because I know that I just lost us like a quarter million of dollars a year, but I have never felt better. Yeah. And he was like, okay, you're delusional. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> what are we going to do? But it's like, this is way cooler than logging on to my tech job. Right. And like, Selling a medical device. Yeah. There's a money threshold of like, I need this much money to feel comfortable. And then beyond that, I just need experiences because what is life beyond that? You know, like, I well, think you need to get yeah. survival off the table and then you can really, really thrive. And once you do that, it's like, it's, you know. It's just, yeah, it's just opening the doors. Like, I don't come from anything. Yeah. Like, there's not money spewing out the doors. At, right. At home, but like, my parents taught me opportunities. Like, Take every opportunity, right. take every chance you yeah. can get. Any hour of like, any hour you can get with yeah. somebody who's done it, just like, take it. Yeah, take it and run with it. Yeah. And why not aim for things? Yeah. Like you wake up in the morning, you're like, I got an able body. Yeah. Roof. Yeah. A meal. Yeah. Might be rice aroni. Yeah, whatever. I've eaten a lot of ramen. <laughs> ramen. <laughs> might as, might as well ramen run with it. I'm still detoxing the ramen out of my body. <laughs> Jerry. But you know, Baby Flow has always had the best, the finest of alfalfa. Always, so. always. I am broke. <laughs> but my horse, nice. Nice. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, guys, I hope that you absolutely love today. Did you love today? Uh, best day ever. I have no words. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I have nothing to say for once. <laughs> I'm so happy. You guys go follow her on TikTok. Um, I'm super stoked. I gave her an open invite here to come back, bring her horse, all the things. I mean it. I will get back. Super pumped. You can come back and run Me and Jerry my 2003 somewhere. F350. We're trekking. Baller. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Is it a 7.3? Yes, it is. Oh my. 200,000 miles. I love it. Alex is gonna be so <laughs> so excited. What's your goals for your horse and you? I have huge goals that are that are respectful to me. I just want to have a good time, but I want to be successful at all the jackpots that I go to. I want to be able to go to the rodeos around me and win a check and just continue to have Same. a good attitude. <laughs> I just want to conti continue to have fun. That's I think all you're I want to do. I think that's a great, it's a great And I just, yeah, goal. I just want to show people that like, you don't need to be go big or go home if you don't want to, but also you don't need to coop yourself up at home you and not consistently go after something and knowing you're gonna fail just do still, it yeah who cares yeah. i'll lose with you me yeah. and you we're in it together I love, <laughs> I love it yeah also before she leaves i wanted to talk about the crazy amazing thing so she's brilliant and i think you guys could pick up on that but she has created an online the software software yeah so what we've done at bridal is we have created all-in-one software for equine business management and so what that is is you no longer need to have your spreadsheets and your whiteboard and quickbooks and all of these different tools that none of them cater to the equine world what we've done is we've put that all in one single place. So you can do all of your invoicing, you can do all of your expenses, you can manage your day-to-day -day activities with your horses, you can keep all of your records there, you can even schedule your lessons, have to-do lists and a calendar, you can have multiple people on one singular account so everybody in your barn can all be in one singular place. And we've started with barn managers and horse trainers because for us that really is the core of the horse world. But next year we're going to launch for farriers and veterinarians and we have just these That's huge, cool. huge plans of there is no reason why the equine world cannot exist on one singular database. And what's insane about horses is every day and every single thing that we do, we're creating data, right. data, 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 and nobody is collecting the data. Data is powerful. Well, anything you can measure, you can improve and Anything progress. you can measure and progress. And so we're bringing analytics to it of you should be able to track year to year everything that's going on in your barn from how much money you're spending on hay to how much Billy Bob cost right. you last summer, how much weight he lost, and you shouldn't need to go dig up those records. Analytics should be giving you predictions on what's going to be happening because the horse world 
has so much improvement that can be made right. simply by using technology Absolutely. to track the data of things. And so that's that's kind of the goal is we want to yeah. have everybody everywhere on bridal. There I should be that. no need for it to be so fragmented. Yeah, the link is going to be in the description. I love being able to support a really young woman that has gone after her goals and achieved and stepped outside of her comfort zone. It's an inspiration to me. Should be an inspiration to everybody. You guys make sure to be subscribed, ding the notification bell. And as always, don't forget to count your blessings, be consistent and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. I came from a non-horse background and wanted to be a professional barrel racer. Now I'm excited to say I am a world champion, but it was a long road to get here and I learned a ton of lessons. I got swindled, taken, had mentors lead me wrong, and now I wanna make something so that you don't have to. 30 plus years of experience have been put in my horse boss's dashboard for hours and hours of lessons in specific categories like hitting barrels, alley issues, when to enter, training your horse, and many, many more. Please join us today, you will not regret it.